Hello. Did somebody get a haircut? Did somebody get a haircut? Good boy. Good boy. Hello! Good morning, fam. It's a great day. We got the dragon family. The dragon family. The dog and fancy. The dog and I'm trying to get buckets to dance. The dog and fancy. Come back. Awesome. Anyways, hi, welcome to story time, question time, whatever time. We swing it back. Let's get to some questions. By the way, we're doing a comfy, cozy story time with Sweet Bear today because we're having a bit of a lazy Saturday. This question comes from at Blake Brand. Hey, question for Sweet Bear. Have you or would you like to travel with John as he goes to different places and speaks? Yeah, I have, and I do when I can, when I don't have work stuff, or, you know, we have buckets, so when we can find somebody to watch him. So I'm going to go with him next week to Iowa, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to the Tampa show in April. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Whenever I can, I like to come. Autumn D116 asks, if you had any superpower, what would it be? To fly, or no, to teleport, excuse me. Teleport? Mine would be to morph into any possible animal because I feel like that's a good way to get almost all the superpowers. Because I could become uh, a bird and I could fly, you could can't be a cheetah and I could be super can't speed. Teleport. True. But I could do a lot of things. But you couldn't teleport. Yeah, but you can't fly. Uh, this next question is from Julia Reed 19. What is your favorite movie of all time? About time. Remember the Titans. If you want to have a really, like a really good John and Sweet Bear night, what you'll do is. What will you do? Step one, find someone you really like to hang out with. Step two, place that order into Domino's. <laughs> Watch the tracker go. Step three, get about time and remember the Titans. Step four, snuggle up with a down comforter and a really cute pup. Watch the watch the one movie, get your pizza, set yourself up in like bed or wherever's comfiest with all your pizza and everything, and then watch the movie. I ran I stopped doing steps, but <laughs> <laughs> Sarah missed us asks. This is a question for Sweet Bear. What is one piece of advice you would give to someone who's about to get married? The week of my wedding, and I've said this a million times, I decided I'm just gonna be calm. Whatever happens, I wash my hands with the planning, I'm just gonna be calm and I'm gonna enjoy myself. And I see so many brides who don't do that, that stress their way through their weddings, and they pay all of this money and do all of this planning and they're not even able to enjoy it. The second thing is, and my, um, my parents gave us this advice, is when you're married, you always have to put, you know, your spouse first. Obviously God, yes, that's, I'm saying when kids come around, when jobs happen, when you're stressed about where you're gonna live, finances, everything like that, you have to put this first. That's good. My advice is so eloquently spoken. Next question comes from Hamby Dandy. <laughs> Hamby Dandy asks, who makes most of the decisions when it comes to your interior design? How would you describe your interior design style? Well, I'm most of it's it. me. <laughs> um, I would in, I would I would describe it as like like an industrial chic, um, like with a dash of kinfolk. A kinfolk? <laughs> no, I make up most of the interior oh. design. But I do like loop you into it because you, you want to know what I think. I want to, and I really do value his opinion. Like, do you like this? Couch and and John might look at the couch. Well, is it comfy? How many people can it sit? And I'm looking. Do I like the fabric? Do I like the look? You know. But I think that's a good team. Um, but yeah, most mostly me. How would you describe it? Um, it's kind of. Here's the thing. I don't love what's happening in this apartment because I feel like we've been trying to fight against this industrial space because I love the industrial space, but it feels very dark. And I'd say I like very bright and airy interiors and so that's been a constant struggle living here zero asks honest doubts about christianity um i have never doubted like the existence of god or his goodness like that's just something i've never struggled with 
I definitely have other struggles, but I think always I've just been like, no, God is real. God is there. He is good. Um, I do have serious doubts about the church. Hmm. Yeah. And its ability to lead people to Jesus and the way that the church is represented in today's world, I think is pitiful, honestly. Like, so I have serious doubts about that. Yeah, sometimes I have a hard time believing in the concept of hell. What's funny about that doubt is if I had said something like, you know, I, I have doubts about the existence of God sometimes, and I absolutely do. I totally do. People would probably, on the whole, in the Christian world, have a lot of compassion for that. Mm -hmm. They would say, hey, you're not alone. I've had those doubts as well. But if you were to say something like, I have I have doubts about the existence of hell, people would jump down your throat for having bad theology. Yeah. So I don't understand <laughs> why these doubts are so unequal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, They're all doubts. They're all doubts. Yeah. They're all questions. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just because you have a doubt on something, that, that means I don't have the answer on it yeah. necessarily, you know? It's annoying when we when we pick and choose which doubts we're gonna have compassion on mm -hmm. and which ones equate to bad or wishy-washy theology. Yeah. If we're gonna have compassion on doubt, which I believe we absolutely should, then we need to have compassion on doubt. Mm -hmm. Well, you we didn't think you would get in this sermon today. <laughs> Joshua asks, if you had to choose between John, buckets, or donuts, what would you choose? John. Really? Yeah. Sydney asks, what do you miss the most about b vlogging, Sweet Bear? <laughs> I couldn't, literally could not say words just I then. I miss a lot about vlogging. It forced us to like, have a fun day. You know, like mm -hmm. it forced us to not sit around. And it, I loved going back and I still love going back and watching old vlogs like, you know, when Buckets was little or trips we took. It's so fun to look back and be like, oh, remember that, you mm -hmm. know? And that's just, I've always loved home movies, and yeah. they're basically like mini home movies. So. I miss that too. I'm I miss that. I miss the, so I miss the feeling of being able. I know this question wasn't technically for me, <laughs> but I do miss things as well. Um, just because we're not doing it mostly because of me doesn't mean I don't miss it. I miss the feeling of uploading and creating something every single day. Mm -hmm. I got so much better as an editor and as a storyteller over that time because sometimes we didn't do anything. And I still and had to make had to, yeah. some sort of story out mm -hmm. of it, you know? Um, so I miss that. I tell you what I don't miss. I don't miss... A lot. Well, yeah. But one thing that I haven't really talked about, I don't miss a lot of people in our lives knowing everything about what we're doing. Yeah, like it'd be so funny. We'd go on our trip and I'd come home and I'd be like, okay, so like, mom, I want to tell you about this thing. She's like, yeah. well, I watched the vlog, I know. Yeah. And it's like, oh. Yeah, I guess yeah. I can't. Yeah. Because it's funny, like you don't make the vlog for your friends and family mm -hmm. to watch. Even though that's probably the majority of the people who watch it probably anyway. Probably 98%. But it, it's strange because then you want to catch them up on things yeah, and, they, and like, they already know. Yeah. This is going to be the last question because it's going to lead us into Oh. The final part of this video. Okay. So, this is from, they call me Tiki. Ooh, Tiki. Hey, Tiki. Uh, what was Sweet Bear's favorite movie from this year's Oscar season? We're going to get to it, Tiki. But first, the final part of this video. But first, do you want to see Bucket's hair? A part? message from Squarespace. For those of you who know, most of you do, the Oscars are, as of today, tomorrow. I got the Oscars This is coming tomorrow. out tomorrow, so the Oscars are probably tonight when you're watching this. Hopefully you watch it right when it comes out. Anyway, the Oscars are coming up Sunday night. This is like a national holiday in our house. Yeah. We're very, very, very <laughs> excited about Oscars. it. So I thought that to end this video, we would give our picks for maybe the five or six major categories. Okay. Now this is not who we think will win. It's who we this want. This is who we want. This is who we would have voted for were we a part of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Okay. We'll start with Best Director. The nominees are Chris Nolan, Dunkirk, Jordan Peele, Get Out, Greta Gerwig, Lady Bird, Paul Thomas Anderson, Phantom Thread, Guillermo del Toro, The Shape of Water. It should be said before we say anything. We have not seen Phantom Thread yet. We have not seen Phantom Thread. It's the only one we haven't seen. We are seeing it tonight. Your pick will be Greta Gerwig, Lady Bird. Yours will be Jordan Peele, Get Out. Correct. 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 Best Supporting Actress. Mary J. Blige, Mudbound. Alice and Janney, I, Tanya. Leslie Manville, Phantom Thread. 
Lori Metcalf, Ladybird, Octavia Spencer, The Shape of Water. Lori Metcalf. Lori Metcalf. We agree on that one. Mm -hmm. She was so good. Supporting actor. Best supporting actor. Willem Dafoe, The Florida Project, Woody Harrelson, Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, Richard Jenkins, The Shape of Water, Christopher Plummer, All the Money in the World, Sam Rockwell, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. <laughs> Sam Rockwell gave my favorite performance of the year. Yeah. For, for sure. sure. Lead actress. Sally Hawkins, The Shape of Water, Francis McDormand, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Margot Robbie, I, Tanya, Saoirse Ronan, Lady Bird, Meryl Streep, The Post. You know mine. Yours is Saoirse Ronan. Yeah. Okay. Let me say, before I say what I would, I would choose, this is one of the first years in a while where the best actress category is far superior to the best actor category. Not even category. far superior, just like some stellar performances. Like I feel like the past couple years it's either been there's one person who was great yeah. and the rest are like, okay, or all of them are just like, you know. Yeah, but I would pick any of these women over yeah. any of these men in their performances. All of those women were amazing. For sure, which I think mm -hmm. says a lot about the type of movies being made, not the caliber of female actress. Yeah, well, you know we're what just I mean? getting better female stories. Yeah, when, when I am, and, and this is gonna play into my best actor pick as well, when I am stuck on who to choose, like it's equal in my eyes, I choose whoever gave me the moment that touched me the most. Okay, so who was it? So now it's between Frances McDormand and Margot Robbie. Because mm. the courtroom scene for Margot uh, and the spitting up blood scene for yes. Francis. And you're going to go with Francis. And I have to go with Francis McDormand. And she's going to win, so. She's probably going to win. Best lead actor. Timothy Chalamet, Call Me By Your Name, Daniel Day-Lewis, Phantom Thread, which we have not seen, so trust me, I'll probably end up choosing him. Daniel Kaluuya, Get Out, Gary Oldman, Darkest Hour, Denzel Washington, Roman J. Israel Esquire. We also haven't seen We also have not seen that one. But it's, oh. I mean, it's all, this is the only category it's nominated in, I think. Gary Oldman's gonna Gary. win, but... Gary Oldman is gonna win. Who would you choose, though? Timmy? Timothy Chalamet? Uh-huh. Yeah, me too. You would? Yep. And uh, my second would be, uh, Daniel. Yeah. Yeah, th this goes down to that same thing that I just said. It, it comes down to who had the moment that touched me the most. Mm -hmm. And for me, in Call Me By Your Name, it was the moment where he breaks down and, like, cries yeah. in Army Hammer's arms. Yeah. But it's also, like, Gary Oldman, like, goes without saying. Like, oh. iconic, transformative, like, just, just... Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Best picture. This is not hard for me. Call Me By Your Name, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water, Three Billboards Outside, Ebbing, Missouri. We have not seen Phantom Thread, yeah. if you didn't know. We're gonna watch it right after We're gonna this. watch it right after we're done with this. What's your choice? A Lady Bird. Lady Bird. Your Mine is Get Out. Get Out. <laughs> Mine is Get Out. It was my favorite movie of the year. It was also the first movie I saw this year. Uh-huh. And it was all downhill from there. And it was amazing. It's, it's so good. Some really good movies it's, this year. Yeah, some really good movies. Now, the real question though is... Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Did you hear the same people that announced it wrong last year announcing it again this year as Redemption? <laughs> that sounds like a good <laughs> yeah, idea. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, Shape of Water, Three Billboards, Lady Bird, Get Out. Here's what I hear. Dark Star Dunk. I mean, they could all win. Here's I what don't I'm... think the post is gonna win, and I don't think. Um, call me by your name's not. Gonna call win. me by your name's gonna win, and I don't think Phantom Thread's gonna win. But I could see any of the other ones winning. So here's what I'm. This is what I'm hearing. Yeah. I'm hearing, I'm hearing. that Shape of Water is favored right now. Okay. And if it's not Shape of Water, it will be Lady Bird or Get Out. We're very excited, so uh, tune in in maybe a week for our Oscar reactions. Yeah. Or, or we'll just, just follow us on Twitter. Yeah, or on Instagram. <laughs> yep. Okay, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Bye! Keep being awesome. Keep being awesome.